I'm Vicky Ferrer, and you're watching FullFlap.tv. It's all changed for a couple of weeks. We're going to be talking about flower arranging. No, I'm kidding. In fact, the truth is the team are slogging away in the virtual office getting ready for 2009. If you sent an email with a feature idea and never got a reply, firstly, sorry, but secondly, we are going through them right now. All Rick, our producer, will tell me is that there are going to be a huge number of new features to the show next year. I know one thing we're doing is going on the road of the show, but I'm not allowed to say any more. In the meantime, I'm going to bring you my selection of the best features from our first season. Tonight, we're off to a posh country estate, then we'll have our own epic race next week, and after that, lots more before we return in January. If the skies are gloomy, then stay with me. I'll bring you a ray of aviation sunshine each week throughout the dark months. Before we get things underway, I just want to mention another website hosting the show. Brian Tutty is a man who makes GPS units actually look good in vintage aircraft. He's also the man behind this amazing project, which I hope to hear a lot more about in the future. Check out his website for more. Right, now it's time to get on with this week's feature. Hobbies are like fine wine. To some, aviation is the best of them. It has sparkle, good character and pedigree, and whiffs of adventure in glamorous locations. To others, it's more like a cheap box of red from the value section of the supermarket. Read any aviation forum and you quickly discover that pilots struggle to get their partners involved because for many, it's just not tasty enough for their hobby palate. This is one such partner. Her name is Marnie. She was born in America and despite coming from the country that loves GA, she doesn't. In fact, it's fair to say she hates talking about flying. Let's see what happens when we offer her some aviation magazines. So, who's married to this lucky lady? Yes, it's me. She's never flown with me, and so it was finally time to try and prove to her that flying is fun. But the Full Flap team decided to turn this into a challenge. Throughout the day, I would have to find out on a scale of 1 to 10 how much my wife was enjoying it. Are you looking forward to this? Uh -huh. If I could get her to say 8 or more, I'd win the challenge. So this is the aileron, um, which actually changes the way that we roll mm -hmm. when we're in, in, in flight. Yeah. Um, and if you come and have a look around here, um, there we've got some really big shock absorbers. And I'm not getting down underneath there. No, I, mm. do. I don't think talking so technical it, work. Sure it's all okay. It's going to pull us through the air. So it's. Okay. Um, and yeah. then we've got a fantastic engine in here as well. I don't want to see it. Right, when we get in, just make sure you hold on to that handheld, okay? And then pull yourself up. There was some Sorry. logic to picking a PA 28. It seems that people think aircraft with lower wings are more like real planes, so they feel safer. But even that didn't seem to be working here. Now how much are you enjoying this on a scale of 1 to 10? Do I have to answer that yet? I'm not quite there yet. It seemed to make a lot of sense to take some travel tablets. One person advised me that at worst it would ease any air sickness, and the best would make my passengers so drowsy they'd stop their whinging when they fell asleep. Was that a yawn? What do you reckon of the view, Abby? It looks like England. So how much are you enjoying it at the moment, then? Well, I don't know why you keep asking me that, but about a three. Is this it? Is this all we're going to do? Just fly around in circles? It was at this point she saw that we were landing at a racing circuit and the talking, well, stopped altogether. I used to compete in motorsport. Amani used to hate that hobby even more. Probably worth mentioning that if you want to head to Goodwood yourself, it's really easy to find if you're flying in the south of England. It's got a VOR on the airfield, so just punch in those numbers and go straight there. You'll find the details in the members' show notes and more tips on the Full Flat website. We're going to have a coffee. That's fantastic. I could have had one at Starbucks. Uh, yes, you could have had one at Starbucks. Like the lamps Not an unsurprising so comment, I suppose, and that's what normally seems to happen when you visit an airfield. Yeah. But I had a plan to ensure on. I was going to win I'm this challenge. This is Steve. He's waiting for us. <laughs> this is really exciting. Are you impressed? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to give me credit. This is worth an eight. What do you make of the car then? Do you like it? 
yeah, it's a very plush car. It's, in fact, the most plush car I've ever been in, aside from made in New Zealand. I think this is working. I think it is. <laughs> I think I'm impressing it. Right. So this is the best bit of the day so far, yeah? Yeah, actually it is. It's the part, you know, good, nice views and all, but I like my cars too. It's about to get better. Go on, I'm going to push you again. Out of ten, how's the day going? I'd say probably seven out of ten at the moment. Oh, so close. But it's getting there. The Kennels Club is part of the Goodwood Estate. In fact, membership is included with the Aero Club. It's a few minutes' drive from the airfield, and on special occasions, members can have a Rolls Royce to take them there, like we do. This is where we are coming for lunch. The Kennels Club. Hello there. Thank you very much. Is it your first time with us? Yes, gorgeous. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Very pretty. See the beautiful view there. That's the west side of the house. Of the Goodwood House. You've got to tell me why is it called the Kennels? Why is it called the Kennels? I mean. You have got a big picture of a dog up there, which is probably a big clue. Yes, it is. It used to be, um, it used to house the hounds uh, for the Duke of Richmond years ago. Actually, most of it looks so nice, I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> Garlic, maybe air dried ham with melon and figs, and no. then. Possibly roast guinea fowl with wild mushrooms and cauliflower cheese. OK, OK. It's clear this is working. That's got to be enough to get that elusive eight. Yeah, fry it up. I've learned to eat properly it now. It's so good. It's just lovely. Oh! <laughs> so, so far we've flown here. Then we had the ride in the rolls, bring you here. Now mm. we're sitting down for dinner. You've had a look at the menu. Is it working yet? Am I convinced about your flying? Do you want to this go flying with This is a nice dream. <laughs> it was like this every time. The question is, do you want to go... Ah. But is it like this every time? Hmm. Of course it is. OK, one final time. I'm not going to ask you this anymore today. Out of ten, how did the day go overall? <laughs> definitely thinking eight, eight and a half. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was such a great day. I had a really good time today. I'm really glad. Really, you did an amazing job. Thank you. Ah, victory is sweet, full flap team. Okay, so she's right. Okay, we're probably not going to be doing this every day. But in fact, after we made this feature, I started to look for other places where we could go that we could also enjoy a day out. I get to fly, Marnie gets to enjoy a day of doing things. In the end, if that's the only way we can mix our hobby palettes to create a flavour that we both like, it's got to be worth it. Next week, another challenge. Everyone's doing them, races between different types of transport, so we decided to do our own. I'm Vicky Ferrer, and you're watching fullflap.tv.